Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Joy with JJ with Joy. And I made this journal uh, because, just because, <laughs> um, I had been inspired by Susan Taylor Brown and I just wanted to share my version of her just because. I think I'm gonna call this though because I can. There's a lot of things in here that don't go together, you wouldn't put together, and I just wanted to share it. Um, I have all kinds of fabrics and textiles, and just, you know, I save piles of every bit of thread I use on my sewing machine, and it's all just knotted together as is. Um, a lot of wonderful stuff in here. So let's get into it. On the first page, uh, I had bought some sari silk, so I had somebody sent me this, and I thought, well, when am I going to use that? That's such an odd thing. I have some of this ribbon in my shop, and uh, I just ripped and shredded it up. It's just a real pretty ribbon. That was just a curtain I found. I had rust-dyed a lot of fabrics and stuff, and then I also did some acrylic dyeing, and this is just a little fabric-y flip thing, and I stuffed it in that little pocket in the front. So, uh, originally I had rust dyed this, and I had sewed it, stitched it, and then rust dyed it. And then I still didn't think it had enough character, so I added some more. Here over on this side, I have added a bear charm that I rusted as well, and a pin. This was some really white fabric. I dulled it down with some stuff. As you can see, it's just wherever I wanted to sew stuff, I just sewed it and made it work. And this was just the easy, most funnest journal. I tell you, I had so much fun with this because there was no boundaries. You could do anything you wanted. Uh, you can maybe see the sparkle, I don't know, in this fabric a little bit here, but it, it just kind of glimmers a little bit. This is acrylic dyed fabric. It just one-to-one -one watered down acrylic dye, or acrylic paint, excuse me, and then you just paint it wherever you want. Once I got that flower on there, I thought, well, it needs a little extra. I have this in my shop as well. Um, it, you can check me out on Etsy, JJ with Joy, to find things in my shop. I have a pretty good variety. This needed a color over here, so when I ran into this fabric here, I thought, oh, how perfect. Uh, you know, it's kind of an odd color fabric. It has a lot of different colors in it. I just used them. I used them. There's textures up here, sari silk. Uh, this was part of a curtain drape. There's burlap. You name it, it's in here. Another little flippy do with lots of fibers just all tied together in a knot. I, uh, again, rust dyed fabric here. Then I had all these little flowers I just stuffed on there. Some of the pages I only made like half pages, so I had bought a bunch of sari silk and uh, put that down, just down the middle. I thought this page has a lot of color and character to it. Now this was just sewed in uh, kind of crooked, and so I made a little flip here, sewed around the corner, or I crocheted around the corners, embroidery, excuse me, let me use my words, right? This down here is sheep wool that was hand spun by a dear friend, and I added a piece of that in there. I try to get her in the journals as much as I possibly can. So Terry Lee Payne, um, she, bless her heart, she's passed away now from cancer, but I try to use every little bit I can of her stuff. Here's a little flip here of just fabric stuff. I had two different fabrics. One had deer on it and one was very similar, but I had dyed that with coffee dyed papers and stuff. And now over here, I just have layers. This is like a wet wipe that I had cleaned up my mess with. There's fabric, another fabric. This tatting here is from Linda Price. Um, I had bought a whole bunch of different um, tatted items from her beautiful. I thought I was going to learn how to do that, and I haven't yet, so still on the list. And then this ribbon trim stuff was just hanging there, and uh, some more of the acrylic dyed leaf prints. I do have a YouTube um, YouTube on that, how to do this as well, the leaf dyed. I, I don't think that I ended up showing the result 
on my YouTube channel when I did the acrylic leaf dyed acrylic paints. Uh, sun, I think I called it sun dried leaf prints, acrylic leaf prints. But anyway, this is the result that I got from that. So just so you know, so if you follow me, you know, uh, if you like what you see, definitely give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit the bell. And this was just part of this. I just decided to sew it down crazy. I love this piece of rusted fabric. I didn't want to cover that up over here. I love this. This is like one of my favorite pages here. Uh, I have some uh, more of the drape over the top of some, um, what do you call that? Y'all know. <laughs> I just went blank. And I just did some French knots here. Now this, when you move this out of the way, you can see this beautiful uh, acrylic dyed fabric. But as it is, I like it like that. I added some stitching up on the edges. I made a pocket out of these. Now this, I did some stitching. I'd never made these flowers, <clears throat> pardon me, before. And um, this was the first journal I'd made those in. And I added just a little, a little spit of yarn or fibers. <clears throat> pardon my voice, <coughs> excuse me. Now here, um, I had my dad passed away a couple years ago, and I had one of his shirts, and I had made part of it into, he, he always had possums in the garden, so I made some possums for myself and both my daughters, and with doing that, I had a lot of fabric left over from his shirt. So I added a little piece of this in here, so um, just many, many fab, there's one, two, three, four layers, five, six, six layers right there. Now here, I left every string I could leave and I, most of them I tried to peel apart, you know. Uh, this is some jute here that I just tore apart and a yo-yo, just more fabric layers, just a lot. Um, the rust dyed fabric, that was a pretty cool looking piece so I liked it. Put a little tab on it strip this down the middle and just tied it in a knot you know we always have these that we don't use in our regular stuff so hey why not and uh that's just sewn on there had this piece of fabric and i thought it kind of went with a page so i stuck it in there put some you know different uh shears behind these are all curtain shears and put that behind there this page another linda price um tatted piece there which I thought is I thought it was so pretty and then you know I didn't have much that it really matched after I purchased them so I thought well that works fine now this was my very first uh, Elizabeth Riggle helped me make the um, little flowers and taught me how to make the little flowers so that's beautiful there I think I just love this I love how this whole flows together and of course on the back you know you have the mess and I was gonna leave it but then I thought I saw this and I thought well you know my goodness that just that looks yummy to me really yummy this is just a uh, crocheted doily and I just bunched it together and sewed it down I had this um, trim on here again this leaf trim with and without jute is both in my shop so if you're looking for some of that now this has a little you know spot underneath it but there you can't put anything in there or get anything in there back here I, I absolutely love this little fox he was so cute again this is some of Terry Lee Payne's um, hand spun wool from her uh, from sheep so I did a little blanket stitch down the edge and left that. I thought that might help that to pop a little bit. Rust dyed fabric pieces and um, a beautiful shear that I had. Put some buttons on these, cut it up, trimmed it up, stuck it on there. I left this page kind of simple because there's a little gold shimmer paint amongst all of this and I wanted to uh, utilize that and so I just did every other button you know, square and round button. I had this, I loved it, I really wanted to use it, and I just kept hoarding it, and I said, okay, it's time, put it in something.
So I backed this. As I got toward the back and you started getting more and more in here, my pages got shorter in the back, of course. So I just started adding things to it to make it work for me. I have these little jewels. I just bought these. Uh, a lady got these for me in California. So I, um, I learned how to do this leaf or this stitching here. Never done that stitch. Didn't do it right. Don't care. It ended up beautiful. Has an owl on there. This fabric and the fabric on the opposite side here was from one of the pieces. Now I know that uh, Susan Taylor Brown, she had actually inspired me. I bought one of her journals and she had a piece. Uh, she sent me some extra pieces when I did. Now this is a bird up here. I don't know if you can tell that that's a bird, but that's a bird. So I just decided I was going to put that in there because she was my inspiration for this journal in the first place. And uh, I had some birch bark looking trim or fabric. And so I thought that kind of actually looked like a snowy walk and it came out pretty cool. This is the second pocket here. And I did a little different thing here. I sewed fabric down, left all the strings on there. But I sewed the fabric down, just sewed all kinds of junk in here. And the back of it is, you know, shows a little bit of sewing. Pretty, pretty cool. It's just fabric. I, it needed something to support. That's why I went ahead and put the um, cardstock on the back. Uh, this page, I didn't want to hide this. I just really love this, and I didn't want to hide it, so I decided just to take some messed up pieces of layers and of the fibers and put it on there. This actually turned it out a whole lot better than the other one, or what I thought was going to originally turn out. Um, got a whole bunch of different things, and, you know, again, a wet wipe that had been wiping up stuff and added a button, fabrics and lace and you name it. And over here, it didn't matter. Sorry, silks. This is some of my leaf dyed prints. That's what came from that. It's kind of nice to be able to show that now because I, I did forget to come back. Didn't know much about video, you know, videography at the time. I had this little ugly thing hanging around and I thought, when am I going to use that? I should have thrown it away. I didn't. I cut it off of the, the you know, whatever it was and decided. Well, why not? It goes with the page. It has the same colors. Why not? Now, in my group, I have a group on Facebook as well called JJ with Joy. And um, in that, we made ruffles. We have a, a live day, like twice a year. And um, we showed how to sew ruffles and how if you have some really bright, ugly fabric, you know, like the bright yellows and greens or something that you don't care for, just take a piece of a shear and, and go over the top of it. Rose um, actually showed shared that in my group. So I really liked it. I love this little guy. He's so cute. I left him in there twice. I don't care. This is a pretty sheer that I had, and I just left it all ready. And, you know, um, it accidentally got sewn in. The bottom layer got sewn in, but it doesn't really matter. You know, the top layer's loose. And there you go. This doesn't match. I don't care. I like the other side because the other side kind of matched this just a little bit. I had this applique I added on there and then, you know, just layered, layered, layered. I like the layering. This actually looked like some birch trees uh, from the, when you tie up your bundle, when you're getting ready to rest, you tie the strings around it, it real tight, and then it leaves those marks. And this was an applique that also came from the California from the lady. So, um, just layers and fibers, and I actually, you know, did like Susan Taylor Brown, and I had ripped a hole in this and sewed around it. You can't hardly see it, but you can now that I pointed it out. And then on the last page, just a, a mess of whatever. Some sorry silk I threaded through that piece of um, fabric, and, and on the back, I put handmade. I did sign it right here, and... On the back, I um, just had different fabrics and stitches and whatever. There's the spine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a, a thumbs up and also, you know, subscribe.
and I will see you the next time. Remember, your day is full of choices, so choose joy. Thanks for being here, guys.